Welcome back to another episode of the Youth Academy Career Mode here with Wakefield. We are in February. We just mounted the premier, the the transfer window, the winter transfer window, in which we lost against Arsenal 2-1. We had to play a replay against Birmingham City in the FA Cup, in which we won on penalties. We lose to Wolves in the league. We beat Crystal Palace in the league. We beat Tottenham in the FA Cup, and then we beat Chelsea. In the Premier League as well. We have Nottingham Forest, Man City, Swansea City, Brighton, Everton, and West Ham in this episode. A good chunk of games. We currently sit 15th in the league. Arsenal finally out of the relegation zone as well. In fact, we have a relegation battle against Nottingham Forest first up. In which we are four points clear of that. We can make it seven if we win the game against Nottingham Forest. But then we have Man City who stop at the table. They are actually sitting in third now. They are crumbling as well. But they are towards the top of the table minimum. We did go ahead and bring in old player Liam McGovern into the squad on loan. To replace Neil as the other guy. What's his name? I don't even know what's his name. What's the dude's name? As Davey went on loan to Liverpool for the rest of the season. We did loan out Hernandez as well. So Jacobs back into the starting 11. It says Neil, but it is Jacobs. As far as the board objective goes, we have obviously completed the first one. We didn't stop talking about that. We are 15th in the league. We have now 30 out of 40 for Weber and Jacobs. Obviously, Jacobs kind of stepped back since getting dropped. It's been Weber. So Jacobs now back in the starting 11. He should start getting a little bit more involvement. Quarterfinals reach, yes. We have one clean sheet still. I'm just looking like we might actually fail that challenge. And then 23 out of 35 goals for Laird and Steel. Mainly Laird though, because I mean Steel has four board Steel has four goal contributions. Yeah, I mean he's not really playing that much. Our first scouting report from our new three nations. And we're gonna kick it off here with France. And just looking at these overalls is looking like a disappointment already. It really does. We have a lot of players our on our youth academy list, so I'm have to go through it at the beginning, either beginning of next season or end of this season. We're going to Uruguay up next, and honestly, it's looking like disappointment again for a second scout. And then we went to Japan. We get Hidario Yasuda, 400k though. Okay, so that's just not good enough. He's not good enough to be part of the squad, but that was our first sign of somewhat decency. In our youth academy, my controller keeps disconnecting, and we get nothing out of our first scouting report. I was so happy, I was so excited to be able to get those. And they give us Jack Squat Harrison Steele is unhappy. I mean, it is what it is, you're just not good enough, mate. Get over it, just play better, and you'll be, you'll be starting games. And it's really as simple as that. We will change kids because that kid is ugly. Let's get into it. Nottingham Forest in the league. If they win, they get a one point behind us. We win. We extend our point gap seven points clear off of the safety mark. It's a big game for us. See what we can do. First game for McGovern back into the squad since selling him a couple seasons ago. Laird. Weber back to Laird and Laird is in behind and Laird on his left foot. Laird to take the lead and Laird will take the lead and as it stands, we are seven points clear off of Nottingham Forest in safety. Oh, I mean, Huming Sun's probably old now and deteriorating, but obviously still somewhat quality. Jacobs. Back into the starting 11. He doesn't really have anything else to prove. Nice Nobody is really going to take his spot. McGovern back into the Wakefield shirt and back on the score sheet for the Wakefield team. His first goal back for the club. And it might be the one that put us completely safe of getting back into the championship. We want to stay in the Premier League. We are kind of on our way to do that. Pedersen Petit will handle it again. He'll clear it as well. Fisher. Now Laird, now Weber down. Weber against Tapsoba. Now against the keeper. He finds the back in that 3 0. And that should be game over. Please keep a clean sheet. What the? We bottle the game at the end of the game in the 88th minute. I thought it was going to win. Maybe 3 1, maybe 3 2. I didn't think it would absolutely bottle it. I look like an absolute idiot simulating through that now. But Sean O'Brien and EC score three goals in the second half. T 
to level it up for Nani and Forrest. They're still now four points behind us. And it's still tight towards the bottom. But we do climb. I mean, teams haven't played yet. But we do climb. And we are going to lose this game against Man City. I'm sure of it. Man City, this should be an easy loss for us. It's a 2-2 draw. In fact, it took De Ketelaire to equalize in the 84th minute. We almost walked away a win with that. We draw to Man City. I will take that. We need next round of the scouting reports. And we are back in France. And we are looking like absolute garbage in France. I think we got better French players the first time around when we did it a couple seasons ago. Uruguay really didn't give me anything. Actually, they really didn't give me anything. And it's looking like that again. They're not giving me anything as well. So, France and Uruguay let me down. Now, South Korea, or, well, no, it wasn't South Korea. It's Japan. I thought I did South Korea. No, it was Japan. Japan gave me a little bit of light, but not really. It wasn't good enough. And they are looking like to disappoint me again. So, three nations, I mean, just nothing out of six scouting reports. We have Swansea City in the FA Cup. We will simulate through this and jump in if need be. I will go ahead and let Steel play over Laird just because I don't want... Steel to force a transfer out of it. So Steel will play Swansea City away in FA Cup. Weber opens the scoring. It's one. They level it up to make it 1 1. Swansea City take the lead. Meyer and the Jete send Swansea through to the next round of the FA Cup. We are going to go ahead and get knocked out. What is up with this game and just drawing games ridiculously? Like we're not scoring, we're not scoring 86 minutes twice. It's just not happening. I mean, we still lose on penalties, so I'm actually kind of fine with that because it's not, it's the right result because we did lose, we did deserve to lose that technically. I mean, we played our full team and we lost. The only player we didn't play there was Laird, but he came on towards the end of the game, so we get knocked out of the FA Cup and we're almost about to get fired. And we are six points clear off of Brighton Arsenal back in the relegation zone. That is not good at all for them. And they can even get put further down if Brighton to will somehow win this game against us. I do not see it happening. I just don't see a world in which Brighton can beat us. We have Everton and West Ham as well. Do Brighton beat us? Actually, you know what? I bet you they do. I bet you they do. A quick set my new... I gotta stop. I gotta stop playing these games. I gotta stop messing around. Only simulate against the big teams. You literally said this 20 times already this season, and now we're back towards 15th. Now we're now we're fighting for survival once again, where we shouldn't really have to be. We should be perfectly fine. But no, I'm an idiot. It's already 12 p.m. Oh, I gotta start recording. It's about to be too hot. We will play this game though. I'll tell you that much. We will play that game. See, this is a game we could, we should have quicksimmed this game. Because they're, what, eight points ahead of us now? We are still one point ahead of safety. However, we have a game in hand against Crystal Palace and two games in hand against Leeds United. Where is Arsenal? Did they fall back in? No, Arsenal is in 13th. Bournemouth are pretty much confirmed to be going down. Let's play this Everton game. We'll play the West Ham game as well. See if we can get up wins. See if we can get something. Fisher. Everton at home. They are eight points ahead of us. We could either close a gap on that or even close a gap and extend, uh, not really close it, but extend our gap towards our safety aim for this season in the Premier League. It's going to take a, quite a bit of work. We still have, what, 10 games left to go in the season? Corner came in and it'll be clear. Now Laird in for Moyano. Moyano, the most forward player right now. He'll play McGovern. We'll look to play Laird through, but Pacho's there. He intercepts that. It's a good interception. The SAFC man? I think so. McGovern, Weber, Evans out wide. Evans is going to take it. He'll back heel for McGovern. McGovern now on his left foot. McGovern on his left foot. McGovern ties it up. It's 1 1. Oh, it's 1 0. I thought Everton scored. It's 1-0. McGoverton scores again. Buick. Acuna wins it. It goes out for throw-in, but it's out for halftime. We're up 1-0. 45 minutes away, and I dare to say it, but we are keeping a clean sheet at the moment. 
McGovern now in for Evans. Evans. And Evans is going down. Evans, he has Jacobs with him. Jacob will turn. Jacobs on his left foot. Jacobs saved. But that should be game over. A 1-0 win against Everton. Not only is that a massive win, but that is also our second clean sheet of the season. That's actually insane to say it's only our second clean sheet, but it is. A 1-0 win thanks to McGovern scoring the sole goal. West Ham to wrap up this episode. Continuing to struggle. It's looking like Arsenal might actually survive as well. And then Onisaroy, an early strike from West Ham, puts us down 1-0. I think West Ham are, what, 10 points ahead of us, something like that? I think they're on 42, and we're on 32, I believe so, something like that. We're down 1-0 already. Who is that? I don't even know who that is. Nanto, shot blocked, save. Petit's looking to head it wide. No, but Zubamendi into Rossi now. Crossed in, it's 2-0, and Onisaroy doubles the lead. And we will jump to result, and we will lose 4-1. McGovern gets on the score sheet, and Nisari does get his hat trick. But we are down bad. 4-1 loss. And we now sit in 15th in the Premier League. We've really, kind of been teetering through 17th or 16th to 15th. We are now ahead of Wakefield. or behind, uh, what, Four points ahead of Crystal Palace, who sit in 18th. We are looking good. Arsenal is in 12th, and they are looking to even possibly climb. They could get into 9th and then somehow possibly maybe get into a European spot. I doubt it. It's unlikely. But we sit in 15th. We have, what, 9 games left to go. Bournemouth, Southampton, Villa, Leicester, Liverpool, Leeds United, and Fulham. By the time we get to Fulham, we should hopefully be safe because Tottenham and Man United to end the season is going to be one tough way to do so. I will see you all for the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.